My name's Dan Hubbard. I'm a lead singer, songwriter for Dan Hubbard and the Humidors. Staring down the road trying not to die I'm, I'm fighting sleep while the trailers pass me by I may be late, but I will get back to you Said listen, old friends in sky blue sky and the last time we said goodbye Near or far Music's kind of, it's always been there My dad was a big Beatles fan, fan of the classics So it's always been there, but I never really you know, realized the influence it could have on people until about seventh grade. I think I was just having a down night and I listened to Tom Petty Wildflowers and that pretty much changed everything for me and uh, you know it was kinda one of those things I thought every song was great and uh, it just really hit me so was I decided to do a solo project called Life is Sweet. And what's rewarding for me is to hear people come up to me and say that they're going through a hard time or something and that album, you know, saved them or, or helped them out so much. And that means everything to me. That's what it's all about. Dan Hubbard and the Humidors, that was when I kind of decided to form a new band so we could travel, rehearse more often. The first, I think, really tour we went on as a group was, I think it was the August of 2008. We'd been together six months or something like that. I don't know. Went on a tour with a good friends of ours, the August from Chicago, now in Nashville. And it was our first experience of being together a lot and playing together and just really getting to know each other. You have plenty to say. You're in Hallbrook, Arizona, agree? About to get your Grand Slam. How do you feel? I feel like taking that thing out of your hand and throwing it across the <laughs> um, Until our West Coast trip a few months later which is something we'll never forget. We talk about it all the time. It was a great tour, but so hard and uh, pretty eye-opening. You know, we learned so much. Number one, not to skimp on the band, even though we still do all the time. Um, and that's, that's really, that's what we learned. You know, we got robbed. Our van broke down, went through three vans just to get through the trip. Uh, but, you know, I think we all realized at the end of it that's still, you know, what we want to do. And you got to go through that. Every band has to go through that. We definitely did. Proud of what we've done. Um, we've made the decision to do it ourselves up to this point. This is it, buddy. I may need a little bit more. This is it. <laughs> It takes a lot of things to go right to put on a great show, you know. And my most memorable ones are from here in town, because this is where it all started, where where I realized that this was a possibility because of all the support from friends and family and fans. I love recording albums, it's just, I want people to get out of our albums what what I got out of them when I was younger and what I still get out of albums, like, you're going through a tough time, you listen to an album and it's good the whole way through and it's just always something that you come back to 
throughout your life. It'll always mean something to you. And that's, that's what I want our albums to be. So the goal has always been to get it in as many people's hands as possible. I picture people driving around, listen to it, listening to it. Because that's, that's what I do. That's just what people do. That's where they fall in love with albums, in the car. That's what I have in mind when we put something together. This might be the last time you see me which we're, we're gonna try so hard to get it out quickly. It's really, I mean, you know, we're sitting here at my house, obviously, and we've grown up, we've had to grow up so much, everyone, you know, we're, we're getting into relationships, we're married, some of us are married, and this album is really about that and the struggles that go along with being a touring musician and you know and then you have your home life and both are great but you have to it's a balancing act so that's what this new batch of songs about I think it's the best stuff we've ever written to, to become famous or huge I'm not sure if that's really the goal it's just as many people as possible to to get our music and to fall in love with it that's that's what I want Be a 